Couldn't take a couldn't stand another minute. Couldn't bear another day without you in it. All of the joy that I had known for all my life. To have you in my life was all I ever wanted. But now without you, I'm a soul forever haunted. Can't help but feel that I had taken you for granted. No way in hell that I could never comprehend this. I wasn't dreaming when they told me you were gone. I was wide awake and feeling that they had to be wrong. Did you know that they made a Ruby Justice League crossover comic? Well, they did. Ruby Justice League is a miniseries featuring characters from the hit anime Ruby and DC superheroes. Honestly, I don't know who asked for this or why it even exists, but I read it because I'm stuck at home right now. The first issue is split between two stories. The first being about Ruby and her sister Yang visiting their dad and meeting Clark, a strange guy with a powerful semblance. And the second half is about Blake investigating rumors about a ghost. This ghost turned out to be Princess Diana, aka Wonder Woman. Blake then goes on to learn of a coming disaster. While it does not seem like the DC Universe directly crosses over with Ruby, the comic instead seems to create new Ruby characters who are direct analogs for DC heroes, sharing traits with their original versions, but changing them somewhat to fit more in line with the world of Ruby. My thoughts on the comic? The writing does a better job than the actual show when it comes to handling its characters. It's really nice to see Ruby and Yang actually act like siblings. The artwork is also decent. Some of the characters actually look pretty good. Also, I hate Blake, so whenever I see Blake on a panel, I, f I don't feel good. So between my vaccine side effects and seeing Blake, I died. <laughs>